a lot of people struggle with editing their YouTube videos, their talking head videos, their video podcast videos. So video editing, let's talk about it. This is the Crush It On Camera series. My name is Meredith. I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera because I believe everyone can create pro looking videos that grow your audience and your business with YouTube. And in the last video, I showed you how to record directly into your computer and all of the things you need to have in place and prepared before you hit that record so that editing your videos is actually faster and a lot less of a headache. Now there's a lot of different software out there for editing your videos. I've used almost all of them. And I'm using Descript in this video because I want to keep the Crush It on Camera series simple and easy and accessible for solo video content creators, online business owners, coaches, course creators, video podcasters. And truth be told, I finalize almost all of my edits inside Premiere Pro, which is a lot more advanced. But no matter what video editing software I'm using, I always follow this process that I teach in detail inside 30 Days to a Thriving YouTube channel called the BFF method, basic, fine tune, and fancy. So basic edits are where you're literally getting rid of any dead space in your edit, any place where you mess up your words, and anything that you literally just don't want in your videos. And what's really cool about Descript is you can do this just by looking at your actual transcript. I can see that I messed up a few times before I actually got to my intro. So all I have to do is highlight it and hit delete. And then I'm going to clean up that cut so there's not so much space at the beginning. And it looks like we have some more mistakes. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to delete it. This right here is a bunch of essentially silence or dead space that Descript has picked up on. We obviously want to edit that out, but there is a magic button to remove all of the dead space in the video. So I'm going to come up to shorten word gaps. It tells me over on the right hand side that I have a handful of places where I have one second or more of silence and all I have to do is hit shorten all and it's going to take all of those and shorten them to a half a second. And now I don't have to go in and remove those one by one. So like I mentioned in the last video in the Crush It on camera series, I like to do this when I'm done recording so that I have a rough draft. I have all of the basic edits done and I can move on to fine tuning. Now I can go in and fine tune this edit by adjusting all of the little places where there is a cut and just trimming all the way to where I see the waveforms either starting or stopping. So you're going to want to have your timeline open for this. And you can also make this as big as you need it to be. So I'm just scrolling through here where any of the cuts have been made because any place where I got rid of, you know, where I messed up my words or restarted, Descript is making a cut in the timeline for me so that I can easily find those things and fine tune them. And when you zoom way in and trim all the way to the end or the beginning of the waveform, you can get a pretty smooth cut. If you're not totally sure, just put your cursor wherever and hit play and listen to it. It's not always perfect or foolproof, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job. This is also a good time to adjust any volume issues you might have. Descript will typically adjust the volume of your video for you, either by boosting the audio or lowering the audio. So we talked about sounding amazing on camera in one of the previous videos in the Crush It On Camera series. And usually Descript does a pretty good job of balancing everything out for you if it's not totally perfect when you hit record. By the way, if you haven't figured it out by now, this is just one video in my Crush It On Camera series here on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the other videos. And I'll link to the whole playlist down in the description below this video. However, if you're here to create pro looking videos that actually grow your channel and grow your audience on YouTube, my best tip for building a thriving YouTube channel is coming up. But let's wrap things up here first because because we talked about basic edits and fine tuning your edits. Now we need to get fancy. So once you're done fine tuning everything, you might wanna add other things to your video. For example, let's say here where I introduce myself, I want my logo to kind of come on the screen 
and then leave again. So all I had to do there was take my logo file and drag it to my timeline. You can see that we obviously have to adjust it and it decided exactly how long to stay. It looks like it's on the screen for five seconds or six seconds by default. So I'm gonna shorten up how long it stays on the screen and then I have it selected here in my frame and I'm just going to grab the corner and make it a little smaller and put it down here in the corner. So now if I hit play, it comes on when I want, it leaves when I want, and I can adjust the size and the placement wherever I want it to go. Now I do highly recommend, and I can't stress this enough, before you start adding graphics and animations and getting really fancy with your edits, you really should have a good rough draft and do all your fine tuning first because it's fun to play with all of the bells and whistles but it is also rather time consuming and let's say you want to add like a title screen i'm going to come up here to t for text i'm going to choose title i'm going to give this a title meredith's video you can see down here on the timeline it it actually added this title to the whole video and we don't want that and we can adjust this by trimming the end but that is kind of tedious a better way to do this is to look at your script and figure out exactly what you're saying in the video to determine how long and where you want this title screen to enter and then leave. So I'm going to highlight this whole sentence and I'm going to come up to the T. I'm going to hit title and it's going to apply that title just to the area of where I had highlighted that sentence. So let's call this my video. Very creative title. I just highlighted this. I'm going to go to layout and actually I'm going to go under text and I just want to make this a little bit smaller there. So we have the title. It's going to come on and then it's going to go off when it's done. I have a handful of videos on editing with Descript here on my channel. I'll make sure to link those in the description below. So I don't want to get into all of the nitty gritty details, but the process for editing using the BFF method is the exact same same no matter what editor you're using. Start with your basic edits, then fine tune those edits. And then if you have time and you have the desire, you can get fancy, right? So if you're a solo online business owner, solo content creator, keep it simple and just focus on being consistent and getting your videos out there. Because let's be honest, you're creating videos to grow your audience and your business with YouTube. So any amount of time you spend doing something optional, or just fancy just because is taking time away from simply creating even more videos because the more videos you have on your channel, the faster your channel is going to grow. So when it comes to making any video content on YouTube to grow your audience, building a library of binge worthy videos is the most powerful way to do that. And I have a video explaining exactly how to become bingeable on YouTube so that you can attract new viewers and subscribers and more revenue with every video that you publish. So I've queued that video up for you here and I've linked it below.